During a video bail review at Carroll County District Court, a judge denied bond for Evan Frock. The former substitute teacher and volleyball coach at Westminster High School is facing 18 charges, accused of posing as a teenage boy on Snapchat, sending, receiving, and soliciting photos and videos of underage girls. Parents and students reacted to Frock's arrest. It was really weird to, to see like the news come out like that because it's someone that we all knew and it was just really odd. Carroll County Public Schools told us he is no longer an employee and the district is cooperating with the investigation. Yeah, I had him as a substitute okay. a couple times. So what was he like as a substitute and what was that for? He didn't talk much as a substitute. He would just like kind of give directions and then have us do whatever. According to a court charging document, the investigation started May 2nd. The FBI and Carroll County Sheriff's deputies executed a federal search warrant and raided Frock's Tawny Town home May 9th. The court record indicates Frock did admit to soliciting and obtaining child pornography from minors. He had four different usernames on Snapchat and thousands of followers. Frock identified himself as a high school age male while in fact he was 32 years old. Frock admitted to chatting on the fictitious Snapchat account with students from the school where he is employed. Prosecutors said investigators found at least 20 images of child pornography, and they are still trying to identify some of the female minor victims, including possible students at Westminster and Francis Scott Key High Schools. In denying Bond, the judge said she clearly believed Frock has been doing this for a long time. It's very messed up, the whole situation. We contacted another school in Baltimore County. We learned that Frock worked there from August 2015 through June 2020. The school tells us they have informed parents and the school counselor is available for any students. They say that they know of no concerns or complaints raised during Frock's tenure. Reporting from Westminster, Barry Sims, WBAL-TV, 11 News.